Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. That was a weird intro. Anyways, huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. We are really cruising through this game, my friends, because of this schedule, and I appreciate you watching every single one. In the last episode, we went to Rouge, found out that there was a, a stick. I'm, I'm using air quotes, but you can't see it because this is an audio journey. Uh, I, I, they had a stick in the ocean, which was the magical city Ageless. We ended up here and found Savan, which is an immortal Wingly who apparently has been waiting for Rose, waiting for us uh, for 7,000 years, which is very cool. And we need to fulfill these tests of courage here to actually make the item that he's been working on forever, uh, the psychedelic bomb. We need to, we need to uh, uh, provide our courage so that he can make it. So. In this episode, we're gonna do just that. Shall we start the first challenge? Uh, yeah. So here's something I wanna say. I'm gonna hold on real quick. Uh, one of the things, hurry up or Zeke will come. Then in order to protect the Cygnus Sphere, last Kraken and Zeke have to fight. Oh, Zeke though would probably win, right? I don't know. I'm scared. So the last Kraken, for anybody that missed it, is protecting the Cygnus Sphere right now. Uh, but, they're worried that Zeke is going to kill the last Kraken and, and, and destroy the Signet Sphere. So what, what they need us to do is bake this bomb so we can stop Zeke, right? That's the whole point of this. And then Moots, which is another thing they're creating, will hopefully seal the moon that never sets. Uh, that's the hope. If all of this works out, then we win, right? One of the very important things that I would suggest doing if you are playing alongside is to save your game before this part. Because if you do this perfectly, you will get a item that is a repeatable item. If you mess up at all, you will get an item that is a one-time use. Obviously, the repeatable is way, way more important. So, as soon as you're ready, we'll talk to Savan. Shall we start the first challenge? Yes, we shall. Let's go, my friends. Now, all of the Dragoons, it is, Dart is solo right now, if you remember from the last episode, and all of the Dragoons are undergoing their own test of courage. They all went by themselves. This is Kongles. It seems like it's just us. Hmm. Why don't we fight for starters? Are you scared because you lost many times? Or is the cheap pride of a giganto stopping you? Kongol and Rose changed. Rose doesn't say such things. You are not Rose. Then die! Don't tell me you are buddying up with your enemy. Huh? You fool. What happened to my plan? The unification of Endoness. Have you found the leader who replaced me? We have a choice. We can swing the axe against Emperor Dole, or we can take his sword. We have to take his sword here. Emperor Dole. Kongo got new feeling. Kongol found new friends. Intention of Emperor Dool is in Kongol. Kongol won't avoid Emperor Dool. That shows courage, dear Kongol. We saw the courage of a giganto. Real courage can be obtained when a person is released from the bonds of the past. Very interesting. Now, you could save after everyone, but you're okay. Just pay attention to the video. Starting the next challenge, let's go. I see. You are giving me a challenge. Let's get it over with. Uh, don't be so hasty, Uck. Miranda, you are hasty. Have a short temper and are hopelessly annoying. You really have a short temper, Uck. I have a question for annoying Miranda. Uck. Why are you here? Hmm. This answer doesn't really matter. You can say for your friends, for the world, or for Queen Teresa. We're gonna say for the world. To save the world from annihilation. I asked the wrong question. All were right. Uh, buckle lost. Uh, Miranda won. Uh, I lost so that Buckle die. Uh, uh, what, what are you talking about? Without Buckle, this space cannot exist. You died too, Miranda. What? Where am I? Buckle, answer me! You still don't understand, Uck. Buckle and Miranda died, Uck. Don't tell me I died. I'm still alive. Look, I still have my hands and feet. 
to die is to vanish. Uh, now Miranda vanishes. Uh, same as Buckle. <laughs> what kind of trick is this? What did you do with my body? Miranda has done enough. Uh, so that you vanish with Buckle. Uh, are you scared? Uh, afraid? Uh, Want to cry? Uh, I am ready for death anytime or I cannot die now. I cannot die now. I haven't done anything yet. I cannot die if terror remains in the world. Miranda is revived. Uh, Buckle is revived too. Uh, we just passed Miranda's test. Buckle's mean. The person who knows the time of their own death has real courage. Hm. That means I too have... Huh. Savan. Next up in the trial of courage is the king himself. Your Majesty Albert, it's an emergency. Minister Noish, why are you here? I was called by Mr. Savan. Surdio is in danger. Tell me more. The mysterious Eastern tribe is deploying an army around the border. In cowardice, they took advantage of your absence, King. Return to Indo's castle at once. Your people are waiting for you to come back, Your Majesty. Hmm. I cannot do that. W why? I am a dragoon before I am a king. Minister Noish, please attend to the matter of the invasion by the Eastern tribe. Do everything possible to avoid a fight. That's right. Don't worry. There is no such thing as an Eastern tribe. I'm pretty sure he would know that. He is the king. And Albert has passed his courage test. That's our king. Albert had to weigh the world's crisis against his peoples. By making cruel choices, it's the responsibility of a king. The real leader has to be able to weigh the effects of a death. That is the courage of a king. Next up, Miru's test of courage. Nothing is here. Boring. Bardell, why are you here? I came back from the infernal world to get revenge for my sister. Ah. You are interrupting me, Gwaraha. Gwaraha? You told me, Miru, you would come back to settle the matter of his sister after the journey. So you cannot die here. Make amends with your death. My sister admired you. How can you still live after taking the life of my sister? I still cannot die. I still cannot die. I cannot do anything if I die, even make amends. It was tough, wasn't it? Miru has passed for test of courage. Poor Miru. Death does not make amends. Making amends only exists in life. We surely saw the courage of Miru, who knew and chose to live. Next up, Hatchel's Test of Courage. The completion of magic requires both the material and heart of the person who uses it. Hmm, it's like raising disciples. We've seen this before. Hashel yelling at Claire. Claire putting murderous intent into her fist. The reason why Claire leaves the village of Rouge. We've seen this. What is this? And Claire left Rouge. I saw it through the mirror with Spino. If you could erase all your memories and could go back to that moment, could you stop Claire? No. I couldn't stop her. It was the best I could do. That's right. Yeah, we passed. Accepting the past shows courage too. Next up, we have Rose. I would often think about it. The thing we are doing, namely 
Charlie creating the signet sphere to seal the moon that never sets, and Rose continuously killing the moon child. I prepared for the coming evil day with a new signet, moot, and the psychedelic bomb, and waited until the moment. The road to destruction laid by the creator Soa was supposed to be absolute, but evolution was stopped by us winglies. I would often think about it. Whether our deeds were the right thing will continue forever. I am afraid. Whether I will be myself until the day my body perishes and becomes dust, will our intention be engulfed by the intention of the creator Soa eventually? Is everything meaningless? You go too far. We are neither immortal nor gods. We are mere people. People should just live in the present, because it means living for the next present. I have been that way, and I won't change. When is my challenge? And just like that, Rose passes her courage. You don't even get an option. We have finished the challenge to the six. You are the last one, Dark. Are you ready for the last challenge? I am. It's the last. Pour your courage into the psychedelic bomb. Shana, is this an illusion? It's the possibility of the future. The sword. I... I can't control my body. What... What did you do to me? You have to take up swords against Shauna. Stop it! Shauna is the moon child that gives birth to the god of destruction, as well as being Dart's significant other. If you have to take up swords against Shauna, what are you going to do? I will save Shauna no matter what! That's courage. And Dart has passed, and just like that, Everyone has completed their courage challenge, a hundred percent. The courage to pursue your love will change even fate. Savan went ahead to see the results. I hope our courage will be able to make the psychedelic bomb. It's the creation from thousands of years of effort by Savan. We have a huge responsibility. We obtained an unexpected ally. Now we can wait for Zeke at the Signet Sphere. We all know what this means, don't we? If we can stop my dad in this city, the world will be saved. That's it. Let's go. Savan's waiting. And we do get a choice of selecting some party members. So I'm actually going to end up putting Miru and... I'm actually going to go with Miru and Rose. And the reason for that is because I feel like, again, this is one of those story moments where it makes the most sense. Miru being a wingly and Rose, of course, being somebody that Savan's been watching for 7,000 years. It makes sense to have them in the party for the next boss fight. Anyways, we'll go back to another teleporter area. We'll go ahead. Oh, a battle. Hey, hopefully it's the final fight that we can find here in Ageless. Agless? Ageless? But of course it was not. So let's go ahead and use this platform here. And we'll use this one at the end. And finally, oh, we'll go ahead and take this one here. And finally, our last teleport, which will bring us into, yeah, that's quite a puzzle, but we can go this way. And let's hope that we completed this thing 100%. Look, the courage of all of you is adding up. The new magic will be born. Give me your hands. Give me your hands to save the world. This is the psychedelic bomb. Oh, my god. It is exceeding the limit. D did it fail? Don't worry, it's not a bad thing. Your courage was too strong. My ultimate magic is now completed. Savan, at last I finished the preparation of Moot. Rough. It was rough, rough. Our efforts will pay off. Foo. Magic power as strong as the Signet Spheres is gathered in Moot. Foo. It seems we made it in time. Does this mean we can stop my father's plan? As long as Zeke doesn't destroy Moot, rough. It's okay for you. The strongest of all magic creatures, Last Kraken, is guarding it. Phew. Let's activate Moot at once. 
We will put a new seal on the moon that never sets. And we get the Psychedelic Bomb X, which of course, my friends, is the repeatable item. The repeatable magic offensive item for the first time in the entire game, probably the only time. We have an offensive repeatable item that is incredible. Oops, uh, wrong, wrong list. That is incredibly, incredibly strong, my friends. Uh, no joke. It is, it is, you're, it's amazing. On, uh, on based attack, so no element. For all, and uh, repeat, multiple, very, very strong. I'm very excited that we got that. Anyways, we're going to head this way. Now that we got whatever, whatever we can get here in, in Aglis. Ah, looks like we should probably follow Savant. Hello. Oh, but there's another item we can grab and hopefully, finally, the random, the final monster we can fight here. And of course it wasn't. So let's go ahead and grab the last chest that we can grab, which is 200 G. Actually, that's the second to last one that we can grab. There is an item that remains for us, which of course we can go use this teleporter. Which will bring us up here and we can grab our final chest. Oh, come on. Which contains a healing breeze. Oh my God. Finally, we encountered the last enemy that we can find in a random encounter here in Ageless. This is the stern fish, which is quite funny because it looks very angry. It is a water elemental with 935 health. Also has a chance of using a physical attack barrier, meaning it can be very, very good for uh, getting your additions up. But this is it. This is the final one. It has an 8% chance of dropping the frozen jet magic, which actually is not that useful in this part of the game because there are, aren't that many fire enemies left. In fact, there's only one in the main progression of this game. And now that we've encountered everything, we can continue on. I'm going to re-equip some people though. And one of those things that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give Miru the dancer shoes since she's going to be our magic user in this fight. I'm going to give her the dancer shoes and of course the magical ring. So it'll lower her speed, but she'll be hitting way harder with that 194 attack damage. And that's as high as we can get Miru's uh, magic attack. So uh, let's hope that she's able to use that psychedelic bomb X in this next boss fight. And here we go. Our last save point in here in at Ageless. I do recommend, I definitely recommend saving here. So let's proceed forward, potentially face the first boss of disc four or a random encounter, whatever. Anyways, let's move on. We are nearing the end of the first of the magical cities. What is this area? Is this where Moo is being developed? Let me show it. This is the signet sphere that has continued to seal the moon that never sets, the flesh of the god of destruction, the evil fruit that is settled in the sky. And this is Last Kraken. A magic creature that was born to guard the Signet Sphere. But we have you. It may not be needed. And Moot will start working. That red light is Moot, the new Signet. Yes. When Moot is activated and the new Signet covers the moon that never sets, the ambitions of that man will be terminated. What is going on? That was a poor introduction of me. The voice. It's you, Zeke. Dad, where are you? In front of you. Don't tell me. It's been manipulated. It cannot be. Yes, it is. It is controlling the heart of Last Kraken. Zeke, are you saying 10,000 years of rest brought you magic power? <laughs> yes. Isn't it an astonishing evolution? Eventually, I'll go beyond everything. Father, tell me, why do you need to annihilate the world? Because it is the intention of the creator Soa, and now it is my intention as well. Dart, are you not only pointing a sword against your own father, but also pointing a sword against Soa who created you? And Savan, don't you think it's a waste to stop the birth of a god by disobeying the intention of Soa? You are all silly. It seems the moon mirror that Lloyd struggled to get was not necessary. Go, last Kraken. Destroy the Signet Sphere and Moot along with this city. Everybody, we gotta stop him. I won't let you have your way, father. Wow, the last Kraken's glowing red. 
And here we go, my friends. This is the last Kraken, the first boss fight of disc four. The magical creature, which is of course water-based with 12,000 health. Right off the bat, we have Miru getting ready to be uh, used here, but we're actually going to go ahead and use a power up on Miru. Perfect. Obviously, we're going to stack Miru as strong as we possibly can. Dart is going to go ahead and use speed up on Miru. And hopefully Rose's turn is next. Perfect. Who's going to use a power down on the last Kraken. Remember, I said that this is going to be a very strong way of dealing with this. Now, of course, being a water elemental means that things like burnout and whatnot are going to do very, very well. But we are instead going to use our Psych Bomb X, which is the first time we can use this repeatable magical item. Two hundred and twenty-six percent, which is going to nail the last Kraken for three thousand two hundred and sixty-four damage. Absolutely wild! The last Kraken does have that magic attack that it'll use every so often. Uh, I believe that is called Water Current. Miru's got another turn, so we are, of course, going to go ahead and use that Burnout that we picked up earlier on the last Kraken. Two hundred and forty percent on that burnout for one thousand nine hundred and twenty-nine damage. Obviously, if we had Miranda in our party, we'd be doing considerably more damage. Rose getting hit for four hundred and eighty damage. Rose getting hit for just a lot, a lot of damage. I'm also going to go ahead and use the gushing magma from Miru now as well. Obviously, it won't do as much damage as burnout, but still do pretty respectable damage at one thousand two hundred and fifty-four. And finally, we can go ahead and use Dart Special here. That's right, I'm transforming everybody into a Dragoon. Dart is using his Dragoon Special. Now, something else that I need to talk about is uh, the Kraken can also spawn these, uh, they're called Cleon spawns. They're very, very easy to kill, but he will, uh, he could potentially send those out. They have about 1,360 health. A couple of additions should knock those out, uh, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about those because we are going to use a special bursted final, a special bursted final burst on the last Kraken. Sounds good to me. This is having the power of having a a fire dragoon in your party against a water elemental. Easy peasy. And of course, Miru's power up and all of that has been used by now. The Kraken can also hit you with conduction magic, which is, uh, it's just, uh, it can either be water or thunder based elemental attack. 1,848 damage out of that final burst from Dart. Absolutely delicious. We'll go ahead and use Rose to cast her Dark Dragon because we have never seen it before and I want to show you guys how awesome it is now that she's Dragoon level 5. Look at how cool. It like, oh, poor, poor last Kraken gets swallowed by dark. What an amazing spell. One thousand damage done to the last Kraken. Now, something else that I want to mention is you could, of course, use a uh, and Miru is actually going to go ahead and use her rainbow breath here just because uh, it, Rose is looking, you know what? Screw it. Let's see if Miru can finish it off with her Blue Sea Dragoon. Uh, but one of the things that, uh, that I should say is you can use speed down on the Kraken. It's already pretty slow. And if you use speed down on it, it's going to get even slower. So keep that in mind. When it does drop below 50% health, it does have, uh, it will have a chance of creating those, those two Cleons that I was talking about. These things are super fast, but they have really 
bad defense, so you can typically kill them in an addition. And of course, having Dark Transform into a Dragoon means you'll be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage to the last Kraken with those final bursts. Four hundred and fifty-six damage from Miru's most powerful dragon. That's ridiculous. There we go. Those are the two Cleons that I was talking about. They are beautiful. They will use actually light-based magic, uh, which is very cool. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. If anything, it would maybe hurt Rose more. But I think we'll be okay. We'll go ahead and use Miru's Rainbow Breath to heal everybody back up to full. And I would very much like to use Dart's attack here. The Cleons are water-based damage as well, so if Dart gets to use his Red Dragoon Spirit, that'll be the end of this fight no matter what. And the last Kraken has been defeated, and of course... Oh, I guess we can't really use that, so why don't we see if we can just destroy them all with an explosion? It might actually be enough damage because of the special to destroy the two Cleons. So even though the Kraken has been defeated, we still have to deal with those, unfortunately. Probably should have just used... Instead of Rainbow Breath, should have just used something else and that would have ended the fight. The Cleons do virtually no damage, uh, but they made the fight last a few more turns past what they should have. But that's okay, because the last Kraken has been defeated, and of course we got to do it Dragoon style, which is always a good time. Honestly, probably would have been easier to not transform into a Dragoon. No joke. Uh, or at least the special from Dart was probably not necessary. Anyways, we'll get 300 gold from that fight, 12,000 experience, and a new weapon for Miss Miru, the Pretty Hammer. The only way to get that weapon is from that fight. Miru leveled up to 33, Rose is 31, Hatchel level 30, Albert level 30 as well. Very nice. Danger, 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 danger. The Signet Sphere is resonating with the runaway reaction of Moots. Why? We prevented the attack of Last Kraken. I got it. The field of power generated by the Dragoons triggered the runaway reaction. Sorry. I'll teleport you. Wait, Savan, what about you, though? Wait! Savan! You have to come, too! I will see this to the end. You should hurry to the next city. The Signet Sphere of Ageless is now being destroyed. Are you starting it alone? And ending it alone, too? Even if my body vanishes, my heart will remain. It will give you wings to fly the sky to the moon that never sets, where Zeke is heading. I still have something to ask you. Rose, I am grateful. Rose, you were my... We have no time for being sad. Right, well, what do we do? The City of Angels has been destroyed. The Signet Sphere has been destroyed. That's the only thing we can do now is leave. And we're gonna have to backtrack quite a ways now to get all the way back to where we first met Ruff. But on our way out, Buckle, you are... Miranda, you are still annoying, Uck. Are other people safe, Uck? Don't say anything. Savan died. Buckle and other creatures cannot leave without Savan left. Can't we do something for you? Can't you be saved with a dragoon's power? Answer me. Be quiet, Uck. Good night, Uck. Buckle! Are you playing dead again? Give me a break. We can meet again soon, Uck. Closing my eyes. Oh, well, that's sad. Anyways, I guess we should move on. You know, you would think with all of Savan's powers that he would have teleported us a little farther through here. 
dark. Tickle's time is stopping, Cal. I cannot roll anymore, Cal. But before that, you must see Pino. Dad, what are you doing? The moon mirror is broken. Because the signet sphere of Agliss was destroyed, he doesn't need it anymore, Pino. Oh. Zeke is in the lost city Zenobatos, Pino. Go hurry, Pino. But how can we go? We connected the teleport device, Cal. Please keep rolling for Decal, Cal. No. Oh. Why is this the saddest part of the game? He's dead. He opened our road with his last power. We won't waste your death. Like, come on, man! This is even sadder than Lavitz! And finally, almost out of Ageless in this, this tomb. Hi, friends. Oh, no. Rose. Ruff has been here forever, Ruff. Ruff only knows views and sound in here, Ruff. Ruff wanted to go outside at least once, Ruff. Don't worry. Now you can go out. Okay, Ruff. It's Ruff, Ruff. My heart hurts. These babies are dead too. So their death won't be in vain. We have to move on. That's true. These babies completed their own duty. We have to as well. These poor babies. I'm sad. And finally, we find ourselves at the last teleporter in Ageless. Savan, I know, I know you've passed and everything, but I will never forgive you for making me trek all the way back out here. Jeez Louise. Anyways, we can now use this door here. This was locked previously. This must be the door to the teleport device Decal was talking about. Well, it's open. Whoa, what a cool room. It looks like the one in my forest. This can take us to Zenobatos instantly. It's completely different. Wingley's had such astonishing magic power. Moving between cities instantly like this. It's astonishing, all right, but I cannot accept life being generated by magic. Me neither. It's too depressing to be born just to do one thing. The Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, was born for destruction only. Its existence might have the same sorrow. Then let's try to make it feel better by making sure it'll never be born. We gotta protect the next Signet Sphere. Let's go to the Lost Cities in Abatos. Yes, my friends, let us head to the Lost City Zenobatos. Look at that, teleporting on the world map. How neat. We find ourselves in the new city, the Lost City of Zenobatos. So, this is the Lost City Zenobatos. It is the city where the legislation and administration of the world of the ancient Winglies were carried out. It's an austere place. It seems like a place Albert would love. Yes, I have a great interest in the way in which they manage their nations. However, I don't think I can learn anything from such a mess. It fell more than 10,000 years ago. Warning, 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 warning. Zenobatos is under martial law. Leave the city at once. Good for you, Albert. Seems that Zenobatos is still alive. Warning, invaded by humans. Take shelter in Cadessa promptly. Warning, 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 warning. However, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be functioning. Are those generated by magic too? It seems like it. But it's different from Buckle. There's no heart in it. And it's just like Zeke now. 
Hey guys, uh, there's something coming this way. What are you? Uh, what's this? I am Kulan. I'll be your wings. Savan was talking about it in his last moments. Wings that can fly the skies will be given. <laughs> it was about you. Rose and people who are carrying the world. Although Savan couldn't accomplish his objectives, he fulfilled his role at the expense of his life. Now, everything is on you. I know. I will stop my father and fulfill Savan's will. I'll be here waiting for you whenever you would like to go back to the world. I'll be your wings. I'm sorry, what? Would you like to have wings? Yeah. Yes. What do you mean? That's right, my friends. We have Kulan, which means that we now can go to any of these places in a matter of moments. No longer do we have to walk all the way back from Dinengrad, all the way to Lohan. We can just fly there instantly. And we'll end up on the world map, and by pressing square, you can actually summon Kulan. Uh, I'm, I, I, I gotta be honest with you, uh, the death of all of those magic creatures in Aegis uh, hit me harder than I ever remember it hitting me, and I don't know why. It was, like, legitimately sad. I don't know. I hit different this time for some reason. Anyways, in the next episode, we will take on the Law City of Zenobatos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you. We are very rapidly approaching the end of this game. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the last Kraken.